In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 5, verses 33 to 39. Then they said to him, Why do the disciples of John fast often and make prayers, and likewise those of the Pharisees, but yours eat and drink. And he said to them, Can you make the friends of the bridegroom fast while the bridegroom is with them? For the days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them. Then they will fast in those days. Then he spoke a parable to them. No one puts a piece of new, from a new garment on an old one. Otherwise the new makes a tear, and also the piece that was taken out of the new does not match the old. No one puts new wine into old wineskins, or else the new wine will burst the wineskin and be spoiled, and, all, and the wineskins will be ruined. But new wine must be put into new wineskins, and both are preserved. And no one, having drunk old wine, immediately desires new, for he says, the old is better. It's interesting, there's a little heading, subheading to this section of the Gospel. When does Jesus fast? Why would Jesus fast, I ask? As the start of the particular Gospel reading, They were asked, and they said to him, Why do the disciples of John fast often and make prayers, and likewise those of the Pharisees? But yours eat and drink. They don't fast. His reply was, of course, Can you make the friends of the bridegroom fast? While well, the bridegroom will be... Uh, is still with them but he then warned them but the days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them then they will fast in those days then he spoke a parable to them no one puts a piece of from a new garment on an old one Otherwise, the new makes a tear. And also the piece that was taken out of the new does not match the old. We think about garments mending. You don't put on new material on old because in time it stretches and, and contracts and pulls away. But it also looks funny, doesn't it? Having a new piece, different colour. It doesn't match. Then they go on about talking about wineskins. New wine. No one puts new wine into old wineskins or else the new wine will burst the wineskins and be spilled and the wineskins will be ruined some of you may know about wine what happens over the years it changes a bit of chemistry I suppose you could say and this then affects the wineskins You put new wine into new wineskins. Because the old wineskins have already gone through that process. 
and then the wine goes in, the new one. It starts changing before you know it. The wine skin is bursting. Then, of course, the one having drunk old wine immediately desires the new, which says the old is better. What is all this about? It is about change. Old is better. The old ways are better. A lot of people say they don't like change. Yes, and even sometimes I'm like that. I prefer the old ways, the ways what I grew up with as a child. And things change. So what are the key elements here? And Jesus is saying to them, be prepared to change. Be prepared to adapt. The first part is about the, the fasting. But as Jesus said, while the bridegroom is there, why fast? The tradition of fasting for John's disciples and the Pharisees' followers, that is the old way. And I'll give an example there why you don't put new things into old ways. It won't last. So, we need to put new wine into new wineskins to preserve them. And this is what a lot of them were having difficulty about because of traditions. They were all set in their ways. They liked them. And then Jesus came along. New ideas, new ways. And many of them couldn't handle it. Created problems. Pray to the Holy Spirit that you will understand. That you will understand and accept change in your life. I'm not talking about wineskins or clothing. We change from when we were a child until we get it. On in years, we have our own children, and then after that. That's an interesting thing. As you get older, things change. And you keep on thinking back the times past. That is one thing for me with regards to Christmas. I have very many fond mem memories of Christmas as a child, as a young person. And then, when I had my own children, Times have changed. You can't keep on living in the past. You think to yourself that they were happy times. Yes, they were. But that was then. But now is now. Things change in our lives. Constantly, constantly evolving. And what do we do? Do we fight those changes? Or do we accept them and go with them? 
God had has plans for us. He always has. From the time that we were born. And what was going to happen. Many good things. And many bad things. Ask yourself for instance. You have fond memories. Of good times. But what about the memories. Of the not so good times. Do you want to have those back again? No, we have to change. We have to adapt. Every day, God has plans for us in a new way. We must go along with what God wants. Keep going. Don't let those terrible things from the past affect you but remember we need to adapt to change in our lives as it says here the old is better of course does that mean the old bad times or the old good times We can't keep on living in the past. But you say to yourself, well, I was happy then. And you can be happy now. Stop fighting. Stop fighting the changes in your life. Pray to the Holy Spirit. Pray that he will help you to go through the changes in your life, to accept them, to accept those changes, all for the greater glory of God. We are a part of God. He is our Father. The celebration of Christmas is still going on for us. Let's, let's adapt to what's happening now. Accept it. Accept the will of God. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>